I'm Christina Gesford here at McLennan Park with Katie Kozakowski. She is the animal control officer for Arlington and she's going to give us some tips on how to deal with wildlife this summer. Uh, so my role as the animal control officer is to make sure um, public safety obviously is the main thing that I want to focus on. So with people with wildlife, people with their domestic animals, making sure everybody's kind of um, interacting safely and knows what to stay away from, what to kind of call animal control for um, to safely keep the dogs on leash and how they should care for their animals too. So there are definitely a couple of coyotes that live in Arlington. Um, usually people will call me because they see them out during the daytime and they're nervous for their kids or their cats or their small dogs too. Um, this is kind of like the time of the year where they have pups so they are going to be out a little bit more during the daytime. Um, they are going to be looking for food or teaching their pups how to hunt as well so you might see them kind of out a little bit more than you usually would. If you encounter a coyote, if it's not bothering you, ignore it. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Um, if you have a coyote in your yard that keeps coming closer and he doesn't seem like he's sick or injured or anything like that, you can haze them. I would always look up proper hazing techniques uh, either online or um, talk to somebody who's a coyote professional before you end up going to haze a coyote and you're not really sure exactly what to do. But usually in the most part, I would say try and avoid wildlife. Um, if they look injured or sick or anything like that, definitely call the police right away, especially um, if it's coming at you or you feel your life is in danger, you wanna call 911 immediately so we can send somebody out. Um, but otherwise, if they're just kind of wandering around, they're probably looking for food or probably looking for a place to sleep too. So the best thing is to kind of just avoid contact with them and let them go on their way if they're just kind of moseying along. So with rabies, I mean, it's definitely something you always want to keep in mind. That's why you should never approach a wild animal um, or raccoon or any mammal. Mammals are the ones that can carry rabies. So there's kind of a couple different signs that you can look out for for signs of rabies. So dumb rabies is kind of like an animal who's walking in circles or is acting like dumb, I guess you would say. That's why they call it that. Um, aggressive rabies is an animal that's going to come at you. So drooling a lot that's why they say foaming at the mouth. You're going to see a lot of drool coming out. Anything like that, you want to stay away from them. If the animal just kind of like walks out in front of you and doesn't seem to notice you. You can make some loud noises and hopefully it'll get scared away. Usually, like I said, they're not going to come at you. Um, so you can turn around, just walk the other way if it seems to be right directly in your path. Um, if the animal looks like it's hissing at you or kind of standing up and acting more ferocious but not coming at you, it could be because he does feel cornered and just get out of there pretty quickly. Um, usually they're not going to chase you unless there's something wrong with them or if they're defending their young as well. I'm Katie Kazakowski with Arlington Animal Control. You can reach me through email at animalcontrol at town.arlington.ma.us or give a call at 781-645-8014. So thank you, Katie, so much for spending this time with us. I'm Christina Gasford. Let's have a great summer and coexist with the animals. Back to Arlington Public News.